Hey guys, you're right back again with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, install bootloader on a 18 mega 328p-pu chip used for the Arduino. Now, I bought these chips on eBay. I bought five of them for $10.50 free shipping. Now, it said in the listing below, uh, it said that it had a bootloader already on it. But when I got it, it said not in sync, and that usually means that it's your computer is not communicating with the chip. Now, I tried everything else to try to fix it, nothing worked, so it brought me to this conclusion that there was no bootloader on the chip. So what I'm going to show you is how to install this said bootloader onto the chip. So first thing you're going to need is a Arduino board with a chip with... Um, the bootloader already on it. I have a 18 mega 328 piece dash PU. That's what I'm using. That's what came on it. So that's what I bought. And unfortunately, it didn't come with the bootloader. A couple extra steps. I thought it wouldn't cost much extra, but you know, people nick them, dime the shit out of you. So anyway, um, you're gonna need a chip with no bootloader, a 16 megahertz crystal. Two ceramic disc capacitors. Right now I'm using uh, 15 picofarads. And then like a bunch of jumper wires. So yeah, let's get to it. Oh yeah, you're going to need like a breadboard as well. So, first off, let's designate our power and ground rails. I'm going to use the bottom rail here for ground. And the top rail for 5 volts. So now that that is established. Good. Now what I'm going to do is take the chip and it has the little uh, indentation slash slot over here which pin 1 is this one. So I'm going to put that in all the way to the left just so I can, it's much easier over there. Am I zoomed in all the way? Nope. So let me just go like this. Looking good now. Alright. So we got that. Next what I'm going to do is get the power and ground for the chip. So um, for VCC we need pin 20 and pin 7. So we're going to go from pin 1. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There. And then pin 20. So. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then that is going to get connected to our 5 volts. Bada bing, bada boom. So now let's take care of our ground. That's pin 22 to pin 8. So here's 7. There's 8. And we wrap it around to 22. And, uh, yeah, where's my little black one? Here it is. And that's going to come down to ground. Okay, so now we got uh, our VCC and ground out of the way. Uh, next, we're going to do our crystal. Now, there is no polarity on the crystal. Uh, it doesn't have a positive or a negative. And that's going to go into pin 9 and 10. So we have 7, 8. And then we go at an angle. Oh, shit. 9 and 10. Press it in there real good. Okay, that was in there. That was easy. So we take our two ceramic capacitors. Here's one of them. And that's going to go... One's going to go to... Uh, from pin 9 to ground, so here's pin 9 to ground, get in there, okay, move it out of the way, and the other one's going to go from pin 10 to ground, there we are, okay, alright, so before we go any farther, we're going to connect up the Arduino to the computer, and as you can see right now, it's running the blink sketch, just so I show you, can show you that it did upload what it needed to upload. So over to the computer. We are going to go in the uh, Arduino program. Go to File, Examples, 
And then you're going to scroll down to Arduino ISP. Click on that. It's going to open up a new uh, sketch window. And then you're just going to hit upload. Now it's going to take a little bit as it uh, programs itself. And as it programs itself, uh, there we go, done uploading. Now, when you're programming it, make sure no wires are connected because, I don't know, they just said don't connect it. So I said, all right, well, I'm not fucking with that logic. So it is uploaded. So now what we can do is we can, um, can close this sketch, the Arduino ISP, and leave this normal one open. All right, so now that it's all programmed, we're gonna unplug it from the computer. Then we're gonna continue wiring the um, Arduino to the blank chip. So first wire we're gonna connect is we're gonna connect a jumper to pin 10 on the Arduino. So eight, nine, 10, here it is, whoop. And that's going to go to the reset pin, which is pin 1 on the blank chip. The next wire is on the Arduino itself, uh, pin 11. And that is going to be going to pin 17 on the chip. So we have 20, 19, 18, 17. Oop, that's in there. Now the next one we're going to do is pin 12 on the Arduino itself. And that is going to pin 18 on the blank chip. Boop. And then the last wire that we have to do goes from pin 13 on the Arduino board. And that goes to pin 19 on the blank chip. And boop. All right, so it's wired. Now you can plug in your five volts. And your ground. Let me just make sure that's right. Yep. So now what you can do is you can plug it back in. And we're going to come over to the computer again. So give me one second. Alright, so coming over from the Arduino, let's snap over to the computer. So, all you have to do is make sure you have you have the right chip. So I have uh, Arduino Uno on COM3. Yours might be different uh, COM port. So you're going to go to Tools. Burn Bootloader. Boom. That's all you got to do. And now it says it's burning the bootloader. These things are freaking blinking like a racehorse. We're going to snap it back over. Make sure it doesn't fail. Now this could take a couple minutes. Whoop. So I'm just going to bring it over here until uh, that is done blinking and going crazy. And now that it's done blinking and going crazy, back to the computer. And you see it's done burning bootloader. So that means that this chip right there, yeah, that's what, that one, that one right there has the bootloader on it. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out, replace it, um, or take this one out, replace it with this one, and show you that it will blink an LED. So I'll be right back. Alright, so you can see that um, I installed the new chip. You can see that uh, the L LED is not on. It's because of this LED I can show you. So I'm not playing any tricks. See? So what I did, I'm going from ground ground to pin 13. It's just uh, doing it like that. And then we're going to come over to the computer. This is the blink sketch. And we're going to upload it. You're gonna see that it works. No, not in, or there's gonna be no not in sync bullshit and all that. So there she is. She's blinking like a bitch. And you can clearly see when I go to upload it, 
it's going to do its all its little flashing and stuff like that telling you that it works 100%. So now that I have all of these chips, so that's 5 6 chips. I'm going this is the original chip that I got and that's what I just used to program that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prototype with this one and these are all going to be going in projects. I have a couple projects I'm trying to work on that I want to actually move um, to like soldered boards. I have the crystals, the capacitors, and the um, the little IC sockets that uh, when you take this out, it's that little socket right there. Um, just so I can build my own projects, take it out if I ever need to reprogram it, slap it in this thing, tweak the code, slap it out, put it in that, and boom. Bada bang, bada boom, you're done. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to program an, uh, an Arduino 328P uh, slash PU using an Arduino as ISB. Alright, and there is the final shield. All the connections needed to load the bootloader onto the 18Mega328P-PU. And I will show you it on this thing and there we have it on the Arduino itself everything is all connected um, so yeah I'm gonna go try it out hopefully it works and I hope you enjoy this video please like favorite and subscribe if you enjoyed stay tuned for more projects and thanks for watching